and, and it's the army week and many activities of the UPDF have been lined up. Seen as the most effective facet of power in Uganda's body politic, the army says it will ensure that the 2016 election is peaceful. Peaceful election before, during and after elections. So we are not preparing for the aftermath. For us, it is business before, during and after elections. Their remarks come at a time of heightened rhetoric and jitters among the electorate that violence could break out. General Katumba Wamala revealed that he will not hesitate to unleash the army to rein in on violence. As a defender of the state from external attacks is common and is undisputed fact. That's what we all know. Military fight wars, they defend the country against the external pressure. Kanokulaije also told NTV that the army will salute whichever candidate is elected as the commander-in-chief. The constitution is very clear. We salute the president of Uganda. And the president of Uganda is not given a name. In 2011, the EU monitoring report cited incidents where the army intimidated voters in Bududa and Budadiri districts using heavy army deployment and movement of troops on the polling day through the district's feeder roads. Raymond Muzuni, NTV.